bertanya kepada kamu semua, which means congratulations to you. You have done a fantastic job for passing all your technical quizzes. Now is the most interesting session. The mentality and psychology in trading. In this session, it's all about you versus you. I'm going to break into three parts for this session. Part number one, optimizing your mindset. Part number two, back and forward testing. Part number three, tracking your result. Part number one, optimizing your mindset. Firstly, I highly encourage you to start treating trading as a business. Every business, there are profit and loss days. There is no such business in the world that profit all the way. If there is business that profit all the way, please do drop me an email as I would like to invest in the business too. Why am I asking you to treat trading as a business? Because you are preparing your mind for trading ethics. The trading ethics are the similar like business ethics, such as what are your trading goals that to relate to your big why? The big why is the one that's going to propel you in your trading goals. The questions that you could ask yourself, such as, what is my target pips for the month? Which pair will be my favorite? These are the some questions you could ask yourself. Number two, in every business, you will have SOP, which stands for Standard Operating Procedure. In trading, you will have your own SOP. You will create your own checklist before you place an entry. Some examples of the checklist identify what style trading you like, swing, intraday, or scalping. Question will be, what time will you trade? Asia, London, or New York market time? You need to identify all this trading time that suits your lifestyle or your working hours. Number three, which is the most important question, what is your risk appetite? How much are you willing to lose? In trading, it's all about managing risk first before profit. Also, accepting loss as part of your trading journey. No point attempt to revenge the market when you got hit stop loss because the market doesn't care about your emotion. Instead, trade it as a market feedback to you so that you could improve your accuracy on trade entries. Part number two. Back and forward testing. Number one, sharpening your trading skills. Trading is a high income skills which will generate huge profit for you if you put tremendous effort into it. Therefore, you must learn how to master the trading craft. Once you master this trading Craft, sky is the limit. Number two, form a daily habit for back and forward testing for at least 30 minutes per day. This will make 
a huge difference in your trading. Number three, choose one of your favorite setup and practice it until it becomes part of you. Bruce Lee said, I fear not the man who practiced 10,000 kids once, but I fear the man who had practiced one kid 10,000 times. In fact, till today, teacher Nora still practices her craft in trading. Myself and Ho, we practice every day too because of teacher Nora influence. Part number three, tracking your results. Have a trading journal. Ask yourself why you place the entry. How come you place the TP and SL at the zone? You may use Microsoft Excel for it or whichever you are comfortable for tracking. Alternatively, you could print your trading history weekly from the MT4. As this, you could analyze all oh, this entry. I enter here, I profit as much. This entry, I enter a certain position and I got hit XL. This could help you to understand your trading skills gap. Number two, understand your entry. If you hit the entry SL, is it because you formal, fear of missing out, or the setup didn't work out? However, please do understand the market is dynamic. It is not as easy as 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Therefore, it's all about managing risk and protecting your equity. And number three, trading is a marathon, not a sprinting journey. Be consistent with your techniques and practice it until you understand the story of the market. In all the above, I wish you all the best in your trading and master your craft. See you soon.